Hey everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is a removal of the Google Account Security Lock on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock. Here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy Tab Active 2, kind of a long mouthful there, and this is a device that does have the Google Account Lock enabled. As we can see here, as we're going through the setup steps, we come to the screen that tells us that the device was reset, and to continue, we have to sign in with the account that was previously on the device. And that's basically exactly what the Google Lock consists of. Google added it as a security feature back in about Android 5 or so to help combat some of the theft and fraud that happens these days in the buying and selling of used mobile devices. Um, so we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us to assist them with this specific issue, with this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information, or because they purchased the device used from a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the lock was enabled, and then after the purchase, the buyer obviously discovered it was locked, uh, they didn't have the login information for the Google account, and the seller had long since disappeared, so it's a very common scam that unfortunately happens all the time these days when the buying and selling of used mobile devices. So we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove this type of lock from this exact model without having to have the previous Google login information. So as you can see here from the lettering and the options on the screen, it's requesting the exact previous account that was on it. So you're not able to log into just any Google account to be able to get through the rest of the setup and actually use the device. And at first glance, there doesn't seem to be any way around it. But our business offers a service whereby we just plug it into a computer and are able to run our programs and tools on it to do it that way. The great thing about this procedure is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone, anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection. And we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we did right here to this one. Before making the video, we had already done 95% of the work just so we can keep this as short and sweet as possible. So now that that's all done, we should be able to just restart the device and then see that we can indeed get all the way through the setup without seeing that Google login screen. We're showing this on the screen here just so everyone knows that, is, that this is legitimate. We're not trying to trick anyone or sign into our own Google account here. We're showing all the steps start to finish just so that you know that it actually is able to be done. So once it finishes turning back on here, Okay, so we are going to go ahead and start going through the steps here. We're first going to turn off Wi-Fi because we don't need that. And then comes the terms and conditions. So we're going to agree to those and tap next. And we don't need to add a name, so we're just going to do next. And we don't need to set up a screen lock, so we're going to skip that also. And now I have to go through the Google services. And we were never able to get to those screens previously, so that is a very good indication that the lock has actually been successfully removed. We're going to keep going all the way, though, just to make sure that we can get all the way to the actual home screen. We're going to tap Finish there. And... There we go. We've got the home screen loaded up. Looks like we have access to all of the apps and settings and features. And this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the settings just to show you exactly what we are working with. So again, it's a Galaxy Tab Active 2. And then that model number there, the SMT390. That's the exact Samsung model number of this specific device. So, if you have one of these devices that has the Google Lock enabled and need help getting rid of it, we would love to help you out with that, so go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of the details there as well. Make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel while you're here, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday.
Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable, will enable you to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.